Hello folks and welcome. So a couple of months ago when um, LM21.2 XFCE was released, I did a video on uh, how to add like this power button. I'm going to today talk about a simpler method and also how to add reboot and logout at the same time. And uh, I'm going to be doing the same on the panel. And then I'm going to talk about adding these um, buttons in here also. These have 60 second timers and then when I put them on the panel they'll have 30 second timers. These are instantaneous. So in either case, I will talk about all of that stuff in this video for today. So welcome. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. So again, LM21.2 XFCE. So uh, these are fairly mobile. As long as you don't uh, cross them over, they'll do weird stuff if you do. But uh, the one I can demo for you is this one it requires me to click. These, if I double click, it will power down my system. This one here, if I double, if I double click, it will reboot my system. In other words, power down and then reboot. I don't want to do either one of these because it'll terminate my video. Now, let me get this out of the way and then we'll continue. This is just a stamp. This logo here of this guy should be visible down here in a larger format and brightly colored. You should be able to click on that to subscribe to Linux for Seniors if you want to. What do you find on Linux for Seniors? Over 250 videos on all kinds of subjects for Linux. If you don't see that icon down here, you're watching this video on someone else's channel. All right. So as a subscriber, thank you if you are a subscriber and welcome back. But uh, you, as a new subscriber, you can go check out my community tab and also the about section for some links. So um, I have lots of videos to show you how to install extra mouse cursors or pointers like this one. And I'll even show you a website where you can get these extra mouse cursors or pointers if you are inclined to install some new ones. There's a website that has over 800 of these things. All right, I'm going to show you how to make these in a different way today. I'm going to show you how to add those on your panel. And then we're going to start with something like that. All right. So again, these two icons, you just double click, providing, of course, you didn't alter this setting. This is right clicking on your desktop. If you decide to turn this on, be very careful because these icons will terminate your video. Sorry, my video. And it'll also on your machine will log you out immediately. I would not recommend turning that on. But then again, it's your machine. Icon sizes are here. This will be a lot smaller number. That's why these are bigger right now. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make these rather easily. So I'm going to right click on this Mint logo and hit Properties. These are the Restart and Shutdown keys. They're off by default. This is what your menu normally looks like. You'll have the multi-function key. If you're good to go with that, then so be it. If you want one that actually has a timer on it, then right click properties, commands, turn the restart, shut down and whatever other one you want to turn on. I'm going to pull these to the side for a second. So that is now a 60 second timer. I don't need to do anything. It'll just power down my system in less than 60 seconds, unless I click that or hit cancel. The same goes with the restart. When I add these on the panel, they'll be 30 seconds. You'll see that in a minute. While I have this open, I'm going to create these. I'm going to block those out for a second so you can stare at this. Now, you cannot copy this statement unless this is active. When this is grayed out, you can't highlight that with your computer mouse. So what kind of computer mouse am I using? I'm using a tower computer standard keyboard fairly standard computer mouse. It doesn't matter if it's wireless or wired. All right, I'm going to use the shutdown first. And you can see it says xfce4-session-logout-halt-fast. That is a shutdown command. I've shown different commands in the past. Highlight the whole line. Right click with your computer mouse and hit copy. Walk over to your desktop, click once, right click and create launcher. Drag the box so you can see what you're doing. Click in the command field once 
and right click with your mouse and hit paste. Verify that you copied the whole line instead of a missing a digit. So the ending says fast on it. Use your arrow keys on your keyboard and scroll all the way to the left. And make sure that it says XFCE4. That way you know you copied the whole thing properly. Now give it a name. What do you want to call that? I called my last one shutdown because that's exactly what this is going to do. So you want to use power off? Sure, why not? I'll even put the word now. Why is that? Because that's exactly what it's going to do. If you have no problem with no icons, then hit create. It'll just be a blank uh, icon. However, if you want to use one, then click that and use anything from the system. If you want the red one, type in shut and you will find it. It's this one right there. You don't need a comment unless you want to. The working directory is not required. None of these are required hit create and you're done. This and this will power off my system, no questions asked. Save your files before doing any of this kind of stuff. One more recap. This is currently set for double click. When this is off, it's double click. When this is on, these are single click icons. I don't recommend single click icons for these things. The default is double click, by the way. So let's do this one here, or sorry, reboot. What's another name for reboot? Restart. The command actually says reboot fast. That one says restart. Well, this is shutdown says log out halt fast. All right, I'm gonna highlight this line this time and right click and copy and click in my screen once, desktop, right click, create launcher, same deal. Click on the command field, right click and paste. Make sure that the whole line is in there. It says reboot fast, take your arrow key and scroll all the way to the left and make sure it says XFCE4. If you're missing a digits, the thing will fail. What are we gonna call this one? So we have, um, this one was called reboot, so we will call this one restart. Restart. Okay. So if you're wondering if that's a restart, it's not. That's time shift. Okay, restart. How about if we put in the word now? Because that's exactly what this is gonna do. All right, again, any icons. AC adapter would look okay. That's grayed out. So my wallpaper is too dark, so let's pick something different. Right click, properties, click the icon. What's another good one? Well, I could use this red one here or this one here. It's just an icon. I can also bring in my own icons if I have icons. Do you make icons? Have you downloaded icons off the internet? Do you have them in a folder? I do. I have this icon folder with a whole bunch of stuff in it. I've shown this folder many times. So I'm gonna click that. So I'm gonna first close all this and then we're gonna right click on this one because that's the one I'm editing. Click that symbol there and then from select icon from all to image files and go find that folder. Wherever you have your folder if you're creating icons or you downloaded icons off the internet. So I have a couple of ones in mind. I have a, another power one. It's real similar to this one. Let's take a look at this. It's a round one. I could use that one but I have another one in mind. I have this square one but uh, I should have cleaned it up a little bit with uh, GIMP and got rid of the white border, but I'm gonna use it nonetheless. It's still a restart. Reboot, restart, same word. They both perform the same action because the commands are the same. That command here, XFCE4 session logout reboot fast. That's what these do. Again, double click and they'll perform those actions right away. They don't ask any questions unlike these do. These, I'm waiting for it. It's waiting for me to click, in other words. So if you're wondering what Mint 212 is, that's the name of the user for today. The user for today is Mint 212. All right, so I could also create this button by doing this and highlighting that and right click and copy, but it's unnecessary because there's a routine already built into your system that can create this button. 
I'm going to delete it on purpose. Right click on your screen, create launcher. Type in LOG and pick the third item in the list. And then go ahead and hit the create button twice. Again, if you don't like the black icon, you can always find another one. So I'm done with this one. This is a multifunction one. I can also right click, open with create on panel, and it puts it down here in the corner. I can also get rid of that if I want it. So restart, reboot are the same, power off and shutdown are the same. I don't want to demo those because it'll terminate my video. But I am going to get rid of these two by dragging a box gently around them and hitting delete. Now that I showed you how to make those rather easily, let's talk about the panel itself. So these are 60 seconds. Again, it doesn't require me to click. It just turns off the machine in 60 seconds unless I force it or cancel. And the restart's the same, 60 seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna right click on the panel, panel, add new. There's two ways of doing this. My preferred is just to drag the icon downstairs. If you decide to highlight that and hit add, it'll put it in the corner right where that is. So I'm gonna get rid of this on purpose. And so it's blank. So all I have is the time and the clock down here. Maybe if you have this key, the subscription key, it may be partly blocking it, but more importantly, and hopefully that's the case and you're not watching this on somebody else's channel, right click, panel, add new. I'm going to do this the first time. You'll notice it says Mint212 on here. That's the name of my user. And these are just little shortcuts. Now I can right click and move this anywhere I see a red line and drop it. I can also expand this out, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna show you that trick in a second. So now I'm gonna do it my way. Right click, panel, add new, click on the button and drag the thing and drop it here anywhere a red line appears. It still says Mint 12 on it. That's okay. And if you're okay with that, then we're good to go. If not, right click properties, go from session menu to action buttons. And whatever is highlighted in this menu will light up your panel. So if you don't want the lock screen, turn that off. If you don't want the switch user, the blue icon, turn it off. I'll leave the suspend on and I'll activate the restart key that just produced that one. It's the same as the reboot, restart, reboot. Okay. Shut down, power off, you know, different names for things. Mouse pointer, mouse cursor. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. All right. So this one here is the multifunction one. Same thing as this one. This one here is a 30 second restart and I don't have to click anything unless I force it or cancel. And this one is 30 seconds shut down instead of the full 60 seconds here. So you got the best of all three worlds here. These are instantaneous power offs, instantaneous power off and reboot or restart. This is a multifunction. Again, you could add these in the corner also, but I think it's easier for you to do this. Now you can also move all of them at the same time. I prefer doing it this way. Right click on any one of these things and click properties and collapse the tree by doing that. Okay, and close. So now I can right click and move this as one icon. I'll stick it right in between the Firefox and my terminal box. And then I wanna expand it out or you can just leave it this way. I wanna change that from session menu to action buttons. All right, and then close that. So right now I have the Firefox, then I have um, that, 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 and terminal, not part of this group. This is my terminal box and the file manager. Right clicking on any one of these power icons, hitting properties, I can also collapse the whole tree by doing that. So now you can clearly see the icons in between here. Okay. This just makes it easier for me to move. Right click, move, wherever a red line appears. You want it over here, you want it in between here, you can certainly do that. You wanna leave it this way, or you wanna add some more keys to it. 
you can also do that and leave it there or you can expand it out so now you can see that these are in between here my Bluetooth and something else I'll just collapse the tree again to let you see this so it's in between the Bluetooth my simple screen and this uh, notifier lots of different ways of doing this okay I need to close that sorry so I'm gonna go with uh, session menu to action buttons so again one more time this is a 30 second timer that's a 60 60 second timer and this is instantaneous and again you can of course be gentle with this and move them around okay lots of different options for you today Thank you for watching, folks.